Good Wednesday morning. It's April 14th, 2021. I'm Guy McPherson of GuyMcPherson.com, otherwise known as Nature Bats Last. And I would recommend you go to Nature Bats Last, GuyMcPherson.com, this morning upon viewing this video and take a look at the links for the embedded articles. Most notably, the Quadrennial report just came out of the National Intelligence Council of the United States six days ago on April 8th, 2021. The quadrennial report, that just means it's produced every four years, and every four years the National Intelligence Council of the United States turns out one of these reports that has to do with climate change. This one is called Global Trends 2040, a more contested world. And that's the bottom line, is the national intelligence community sees a more contested world, most notably in the Arctic. There is relatively little mention in this report of the melting Arctic sea ice, which will almost certainly lead to utter catastrophe in terms of habitat for humans and other species on Earth, as I mentioned in several of my previous works. And this is because the rate of change is occurring so rapidly, and the rate of change projected, anticipated to occur after the ice is gone from the Arctic will be even faster than that experienced so far. So this is an event that could easily lead to the loss of all life on Earth because of that rate of change of the environment that organisms would be subjected to. The report, however, Global Trends 2040, focuses on sea level rise, which is a virtual non-issue since we're talking about floating ice, ice floating on top of the Arctic Ocean. It discusses open shipping lanes, which leads to the subtitle, A More Contested World. The shipping lanes would provide or would serve as a source of competition that could well lead to increased military activity between various countries, as occurred, for example, during World War II with shipping lanes that time in the Pacific. This report only includes vague mention of self-reinforcing feedback loops and the additional heating associated with loss of Arctic ice. And that's the real story. That's a story I would encourage you to look further into because loss of Arctic ice is an absolute game changer for humans and other organisms on this planet. I just don't see a way through it. Although the peer-reviewed paper by Maslowski and colleagues projected an ice-free Arctic in 2016, plus or minus three years, and it hasn't happened yet, that doesn't mean it's long in the future. What that tells me is that it won't be very many years, and in fact, it might be not very many months in the grand scheme of things before we have that ice-free Arctic. Thanks for paying attention. We'll try to produce another one of these videos in about a week. Thank you.